Welcome to my CEH version 9 review guide. I've been getting lots of people requesting review questions and materials, so I've been trying to, to get together some time, but because I don't want you know a 20 minute video just on re uh, review guide material, I'm going to be doing about five questions per video. Uh, like I said in my welcome guide, I'm kind of going through the questions in general that I remember or that I've seen on a lot of study material that I thought were really important concept-wise. And that's the purpose here. All right, so the first one, the first question that I remember that I thought was this one that stuck out that I keep seeing over and over in study material is you're going to get something like... Uh, you receive a report or a uh, output and it shows technical controls like what uh, that HCLs should be used, port security should be configured. Uh, you're required to do a filtering solution between LAN and DMZ and some type of firewall should be used in front of the web server. Those were the technical controls and they give you a few responses, options. Uh, attacks can't be performed, injection is prevention. Well, right there, the report that it gave you was specific to technical controls. So B and D options are gone. They're not technical controls. Where A and C are, an ACL is between the appropriate VLANs. See, that's a possible solution. Or some type of stateful firewall should be used between VLANs and the DMZ. Well, A, an ACL is used, is not the same as should be used. So that right there, language was really important reading the questions. ACLs should be used does not describe the technical control the ACL is between the VLANs. What about C? A stateful firewall should be used between VLAN and DMZ. Well, we're looking for a filtering solution between the LAN and the DMZ. So a stateful firewall would actually uh, do packet inspection so that actually does satisfy that technical control. So if that was one of my questions, I'd be choosing C. Because again, looking at the overall flow of the question, breaking down the possible responses, C was the only one that really made sense. A could have made sense, but because it's a statement of it's a there, that kind of does not correlate to the should be there, but is there. Again, I understand it's semantics at this point, but it's about being able to read the questions appropriately. Next one was SQL injection prevention methods. So when you're trying to test to see if you can actually uh, break this or do this, What's one of the first things that you should want to try to input? A single quote is the most common item that you want to try to input. Not an explanation mark, not double quotes, not a semicolon. Double quote and semicolon are actually used in SQL statements. So we want to be very careful with using them. We want to kind of see if we can break it. And we do that with a single quote. Next. What's John the Ripper? Uh, one thing that I do remember is there were lots of tool questions. And in the CEH material, I keep using John the Ripper for password weaknesses. So make sure that you understand that John the Ripper is a great tool for password weaknesses. This is always one of my favorite ones. You're trying to connect to a wireless access point and uh, nothing happens. You can see the network, you just can't join the network. 
And honestly, typically, this is one of two things. Is there a Mac filter there? Or is there no DHCP or no IP information? When you are trying to connect and you're not getting anything, realistically, the first response is probably the Mac filter. But if you want to do this step further and you try statically assigning yourself an IP address and you still can't connect, Mac filter, but if you statically assign yourself an IP and you do connect, then it's not Mac filter, it's no DHCP. But again, typically when you're trying to uh, access a wireless network and you aren't getting an address, Mac filter is typically the first option. Last question in this review is authentication factors. Something you know, something you are, something you have, and your location. Those are the big four. Multi-factor will use a combination of two or more of these. Uh, ATM, something you know, something you have. Your PIN number and your ATM card. Uh, you could actually restrict your ATM to only be used in the uh, city that you live in. That would be something you know, something you have, and your location. Because that PIN and that axe or that card and the PIN number can only be used in the city you're, you live in, that now narrows it down to your location. Uh, something you are is going to be more like a biometric. Fingerprint, palm print, um, retina scan. But again, multi-factor is any combination of these. That's actually the first five questions. Simple, uh, sweet, kind of straight to the point. Again, read the questions and understand concepts. And the CEH actually is not as hard as many people think. Thank you.